Hey everybody, this is Tim with Owlize Wilderness Survival. I'm going to show you a simple and effective way to set up a tarp shelter with just a tarp and five pieces of rope. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to find a place in the woods that has two trees that are of a good distance apart, obviously longer than your tarp, and you want it to be a safe location, all right? To my students and in my classes, I always say look up, look down, and look around, all right? When we look up, we're looking for any dead branches or trees that can fall on us. When we look down, we're looking for any poison ivy, bees, ants, drainages if it rains or if it, you know, the water uh, pools in the area. Um, and we also just want to make sure that we're in a comfortable spot and look around. Do we have enough resources? Are we close enough but far enough away from water? And would it just be a good place to build a shelter? So come on over and let me show you how to tie up this knot. So with ropes, I never have long pieces of ropes. Okay, this one's probably, I don't know, 20 feet long, but I would never do anything longer than that. This, I'm gonna tie hip height, all right? I'm gonna do a bowline knot. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to make a loop, okay? And I make sure that that loop, the part that goes behind the tree is on top, all right? There's many ways to tie this. This is just the way I like to teach people who wanna learn it uh, in the beginning. So. You make a loop, make sure that the part that goes behind the tree is on top. Bring the tag end up through that loop and then down under this, okay? Down under the running end and then back down that loop, okay? There's usually a saying that goes, the rabbit comes out of the hole around the tree and back down the hole. I don't like to use that because this is the tree, right? So I don't want to confuse anybody. It's down under the running end. So that's the bowline knot. That can be loose. Because what we're going to do is we're going to come over here to this tree. We're going to make sure that it's level. We're going to bring this around. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a slip knot. And the way I do that is I make a loop. And then I bring a bite, which is just a fold of rope, up through that loop. And I always make sure I make the bite closer to the tree. Bring it through. Tighten that loop around. And don't pull it tight because that'll come undone. I'm gonna come over, bring the tag end through that loop. Whoops, got the end stuck there. And then I'm just gonna crank it back. And what that does is that makes it get really tight. Just like that. I'm gonna pinch that off and just seal it off with one half hitch could be enough, but I'm always gonna do two. All right, just like that. Nothing fancy and that's a nice tight rope. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab my tarp. Set that up over it lengthwise. Okay, I'm just gonna lay it down there flat. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tie the shorter ropes, and these could even be like a foot long. I just make them a couple feet long just so I always have extra rope because you never know where you're going to be setting up your tarp. So these are called grommets, all right? And just a quick note, when I, pulled out, when I pull out my ropes, I'm going to always try to pull them out directly where the corner points, okay? If I pull them out off to the side, it's going to create a dip in my tarp. If I pull them out straight and kind of have each corner playing tug of war with itself, uh, with the tarp, then it's gonna make it nice and tight and that's what I want, okay? And the way I store my ropes is I make it so that I can coil them up so I can just pull them right out and that they're ready to go, okay? Maybe there'll be a little knot in there but you can untie that easily. So again, I'm gonna tie my bowline knot so I'm gonna bring my knot up through. I'm going to make a loop and the part that goes up goes uh, either behind the tree or in the grommet or whatever, right? So that's on top as opposed to the running end being on top. Okay, you can tie it that way, but this is just the way I'm gonna teach you in this video. Comes out of the loop, around the running end, and then back down the loop. Okay, and to me it kind of looks like a, like a lip with a tongue sticking out almost. So, so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna take four tent stakes, and I do have a video on this already on how to carve these. It's a very simple project. I'm gonna pull one corner out, and obviously I can't pull it tight, so this is just gonna be my starter corner. Pull it out from where the corner points, and I'm gonna just stake that in the ground and I'm gonna make sure that my, my tent stakes, the tops of them are pointing away from my tarp so that when I pull them, it's nice and stable. I'm gonna wrap my rope around a few times 
And then I could just do a couple half hitches, just simple knots, nothing crazy. They'll hold. And one thing I like to do is use bright rope just so that people see it. Because I feel like anytime I set up a tarp, somebody always has to walk by and face plant from tripping on my cords. So, and then I actually just ball up the ropes right at the stake just so that they're all in one place. So on the last corner, if I pull that nice and tight, you can see I have a really good A-frame shape here. All right, and that's gonna be tight. I can crawl in, it's gonna shed the rain. I can store some gear under there, and depending on the size of the tarp, you can fit multiple people inside. So what I have here is a finished A-frame tarp. This is more of what I would call a storm-proof tarp. It's low to just crawl in and get some shelter. All right, you can't do much in here. You can't move around much, but you can store your gear. You can uh, go to sleep, and it's gonna shed the rain nicely. All right, so if you have a sleeping bag and a sleeping pad, throw them in. If you don't, you can fill the inside with leaves and crawl into those. See everybody. Cora, come on. Come on. Come here. Little bonus, I'm just gonna show you how I coil up my rope so nothing gets tangled. I never like to have long lengths of rope, okay? I usually store them uh, usually my, 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 uh, my ridge line is going to be like 20 feet maybe, maybe even 15 feet, depending on where I think I'm going to be going. But uh, these are usually like 6 feet to 10 feet or so. Um, so to put them away, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just pinch the end in my thumb and I'm going to go around. And then you can kind of let your thumb up a little bit on the tag end. And just crisscross them and loop them over your pinky, your thumb. Pinky, thumb. All right. And then at the end, you can just pull those off, right, by pinching in the middle wrap it around a few times, tuck that in itself, and there's your stored lengths of rope. And then when you're ready to use them, you can just pull them out. And there's usually a little overhand knot at the end, which is just easy to untie. And then you're ready to use your rope. Thanks for watching.